So in your resume, the project should be very, very focused on AI. Maybe you have built some agent on your own. Maybe you have added LMM on top of something. Maybe you have built a RAG model. So if you have integrated AI into anything, if you have integrated added LLM on top of something, or maybe you have built many apps using Replit or some other white coding tools like Cursor, Claude, then that is going to be very, very important. And make sure that you mention in the projects. So in the tools section, you mentioned that you have used these, these tools, which is like whether you've used Claude or you have used Replit, or let's say if you are building using LLMs and you mention exactly what inference engine you used, what model you used, why did you use that model, what was the percentage improvement, what is better from the existing AI apps and tools which are doing the same thing. So make sure that it is very, very detailed and comprehensive and it isn't very weight. So I would say that the first very important step is your projects. And I also made a short video on this that how you can build production ready app using Emergent. So go ahead and try that out as well. Make sure that your app or project, whatever that you have built, it is tested, right? It is scalable. You have taken care of all monitoring and logging and all of these things because it's very, very important and make sure it's deployed as well. Again, I have made a video on how do you actually deploy projects. So go ahead and check that out. That will also be very helpful for you. So then the most important thing is your projects and how you build them because that is what is going to get you shortlisted. So your resume should have two to three projects, right? And your bachelor's degree is there, right? Your college reputation name doesn't matter. Okay, so tier one, tier two, three, tier three, get that out of your head. That's not important. What's important is that you have a good GPA. Yes, it is important because I had a GPA of 8.9 and I was not selected on campus. I was rejected because people had nine plus GPA. There were people who had 10 GPA, right? If you're competing with them, they will get that and you will not get it. So you will not get shortlisted. But, 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 since I had a good internship experience and I had good ranks in the context that I used to give, because of that, when I applied off campus, I was able to get a referral easily from a Google employee. And then I was also able to get a call. And along with that, I had also participated in a few Google related competitions. So make sure if there are any Google competitions coming and there is a Google competition coming up, stay tuned. You go ahead and apply in that because that is going to be very, very helpful for your resume and to get shortlisted. So after you have gotten shortlisted, what is the next thing that you have to do, right? So now here I will segregate in two parts. One is going to be for the new grad or let's say the students and one is going to be for the working professionals. Now, new grads, what you have to focus on is you just have to focus on data structures and algorithms. That is the most and the only thing that you will be asked in this company in Google. Now, AI can go ahead and solve lead code questions as well, maybe better than you, but that's not what they are looking at. They're looking at whether you have the thinking skills, whether you have the analytical skills, whether you are given a problem, you're able to break it down, right? So maybe the questions now are much more vague than they used to be. But what is more important is that you still go ahead and focus on solving lead code questions, solve all Google tag questions, that should be good to go. Read up on past interview experiences that people have given, that is enough preparation to get into Google. Don't complicate it, don't worry about it. Data structures and algorithms is important. And the most important topics in priority order will be dynamic programming. And then you will have your, uh, what do you have? You have your dynamic programming, then you will have graphs and you will have trees and then you will have binary search, etc. greedy problems, right? So this is going to be the order of what the most important topics are. Now coming to working professionals, you have to focus on system design as well. So in Google L3, L4 levels, well, L3, L4 is like, Suite 2 and Suite 3, they will just have data structures algorithms. L5 above, you will have system design as well in your interviews. So make sure you're preparing for system design. If you want to know what is the site, then I have made a career map, career quest. The link will be in the description below. Go ahead and check it out. You will get a personalized word map according to you, along with tips of what I would do if I was preparing to get into big tech yet again. Again, the link will be in the description. Go ahead and check it out. But the point is that if you are experienced, you have to go ahead and prepare for system design as well. So that is it from the interview preparation, how you have to go ahead and prepare for that. The most important skill, again, I would say is your resume that you have to go ahead and build out. And for that, the projects that you build is very important. And the experience that you have, whether it's an internship or whether it's working at a startup, is very, very important. So make sure you go ahead and apply that. And for projects, I have made a lot of tutorials of what you can do to build production-ready projects. Go ahead and check it out. I hope it will be helpful for you and you will be able to build a resume that will get shortlisted. 
and i hope that it gives you a good idea of what it really takes to get into google so that is your google 2026 roadmap projects make sure it's ai powered make sure you use vibe coding tools make sure you add why your project is different why your product is different for your gpa make sure it's a good gpa make sure that you your computer what your education aligns with what google generally likes and you have a past internship experience as well for getting past internship experiences and more offers i can make a separate video on that just let me know in the comments and i will do that and for the complete comprehensive roadmap again i have a site that i have built career quest where you can go ahead and find out everything that you want personalized to you and according to my tips as well so you will have a resume template which i have used you will have a referral template that i have used everything is available on the site go ahead and check that out out and uh, yeah that's it for the video i hope you like this make sure you give it a like you comment and you subscribe for my future videos and i will see you in my next one until then bye bye